Only as high as I reach can I grow. Only as far as I seek can I go. Only as deep as I look can I see. Only as much as I dream can I be. As we enter the 12th five-year plan, it becomes an opportune moment to take stock of our achievements in the last five years. The 11th plan for the country as a whole has not yielded results as per expectations due to a variety of factors. Very high inflation rates and inflationary pressure, especially from primary foods, including cereals, vegetables and milk. Declining domestic savings and investment rates coupled with heavy government borrowings. Decline in output of coal, natural gas, manufacturing sector, exports and net FDI inflow. All this leading to a feeling of despondency, directly affecting the growth rate and lowering the confidence of both domestic and international investors. Never before has the common man reeled under such heavy burden. It is probably for the first time that the India growth story is being questioned. And as we enter the 12th five-year plan, we see the Indian economy once again feeling the heat of global events. Gujarat's economy too could not remain immune from global factors. And despite being affected during 2008-2009 and again during 2011-2012, the state has managed to maintain its excellent track record of near double-digit growth. Today, we once again reiterate our commitment to achieving sustainable double-digit growth during the next five years through our well-planned approach for economic development and inclusive growth. Nurturing this commitment will be the 12th plan with an outlay of 2,51,000 crore rupees which is almost double the 11th plan outlay of 1,28,500 crore rupees and more than the total plan outlay of 2,30,256 crore rupees over the last 50 years. The objectives of the 12th plan are double-digit growth Uniform growth in agriculture, manufacturing and services. Improved HDI. Increased livelihood opportunities. Empowerment of the youth and women. Improved quality of life of the poor, both rural and urban. Improved the effectiveness and efficiency of the programs directly aimed at the poor. Meeting the challenges of urbanization, especially in infrastructure, services and governance. Balanced regional growth through grassroot planning and taluka centric governance. Increase the reach of the state's three flagship schemes Van Bandhu Kalyan Yojana, Sagar Kheru Sarvangi Vikas Yojana, and Garib Samruddhi Yojana. Pride of the state. In a significant move during the 11th plan, the state launched three flagship schemes that emphasized on outcome-based approach and grassroots planning with community participation. Boosted by the unprecedented success of the schemes, the government has decided to extend the schemes in the 12th plan with substantially larger allocations. The Van Bandhu Kalyan Yojana will continue to focus on overall development of tribals with an allocation of 40,000 crore rupees as against 15,000 crore rupees in the last five-year plan. The Sagar Kheru Sarvangi Vikas Yojana, aimed at the holistic development of coastal regions and communities, will be reinforced with an allocation of 21,000 crore rupees as against 11,000 crore rupees in the last five-year plan. While the Shehri Garib Samruddhi Yojana, will assure benefits for the urban poor with an allocation of 25,000 crore rupees against 13,000 crore rupees in the last five years. With a total allocation of 86,000 crore rupees 
these flagship schemes constitute almost 34% of the 12th plan. Annual Development Plan 2012-2013 Once again, the roadmap has been laid with a lion's share of 40% allocation to social services sector at 20,307.75 crore rupees, reinforcing our commitment to the upliftment of the poor. Germinating success, fulfilling a farmer's aspiration. In the past decade, Gujarat has shown to the world that while adversity causes some to break, others break records. Gujarat made the nation set up and take notice when this drought-prone state shattered all records to achieve a decadal 10.8% agricultural growth rate vis-à-vis -vis the national average of 3.3% during the same period. An integrated approach of Krishi value chain adopted in the 12th plan will boost both agriculture development as well as farmer welfare, making agriculture prosperous, sustainable and economically viable. The planned outlay of 6,000 crore rupees for agriculture and allied products includes expansion of Narmada canal network, canal rehabilitation, land rehabilitation, and salinity control. Continued emphasis on farm ponds, sim and khet talavaris for water conservation. Increased coverage of farmland under drip and sprinkler irrigation to 2.5 lakh hectares. Providing 1 lakh farm electricity connections. Special emphasis on horticulture through provision of 155 crore rupees for high-tech greenhouses, polyhouses, net houses and trellis to encourage vegetable farming. Further, the globally acknowledged dairy industry of Gujarat will be strengthened with provision for Kamdhenu University to develop animal husbandry on scientific lines. All this while enabling direct market access through the mission on food processing, establishment of two mega food parks and for the first time in the country a special satellite channel for agriculture training. Empowering the hand that rocks the cradle. An empowered woman is the cornerstone of overall development, while well-nurtured children are the foundations of a bright future. Development of women and children has been Gujarat's focus for the past decade and continues to command significance under the Nari Gaurav Niti umbrella that includes Planned and phased programs to end malnutrition. Building of 12,045 Anganwadis in the current year. Cancer screening for women in the field at remote locations. Provision for 42 new women courts in 17 districts. Five new women ITIs. 90,000 square meters. Exclusively dedicated for women entrepreneurs in Sanand SEZ. While illiterate and poor women have already become active partners in economic development through Mission Mangalam, for the first time ever, 251 Mahila Samaras Gram Panchayats have ensured unanimous elections of women Sarpanch with all women members. Furthermore, 200 crore rupees have been allocated towards a new scheme, the Mukhya Mantri Amrutam Yojana to provide financial assistance to all BPL families for their medical treatment. Empowering youth, hailing Yuva Shakti. What better way to pay tribute to Swami Vivekananda on his 150th anniversary than to encourage more than 4.5 lakh youths of the state to adopt Swami Vivekananda's ideals of a Karm Yogi via skill development programs by Increasing the number of medical seats and medical colleges across the state. Instituting 10 new ITIs. Increasing capacity of ITIs by 12,780 seats. And establishing an automobile training center at Sanand, where five global automobile companies have set up shop, making Gujarat the Detroit of the East. Establishing Gujarat Skill Development Institute 
as a university. Apart from forming an autonomous university for infrastructure, engineering and management. Vishwakarma Yojana to enable engineering students to acquire real life experience while assisting rural development. Building 100 new skill development centers and powering enterprise by funding incubation centers. Roofs overhead, homes for all. While in the Golden Jubilee year, we successfully provided housing assistance to all families owning a housing plot in 0 to 16 poverty index. It is our vision to cover all BPL families under 17 to 20, for which 756 crore rupees has already been allocated in the current year. Fortifying infrastructure, cementing a future. While viability in agriculture will ensure double-digit growth, development of infrastructure, particularly ports and fishing harbors, improved roads and better connectivity, energy sufficiency, and introduction of new technologies like nanotechnology, biotechnology, and green technology will enable sustainability. 2,800 crore rupees for industrial development. 9,000 crore rupees under Sardar Sarovar Yojana. 1,081 crore rupees under ports and transportation. 4,260 crore rupees for roads and buildings. 3,731 crore rupees under energy and petrochemicals. 5,670 crore rupees for urban development and urban housing. History has seen Gujarat face many challenges in the past decade. But each time, it witnessed Gujarat transcend these challenges and transform them into cornerstone of growth through its unique initiatives, innovations and out-of-the-box solutions that have contributed significantly in spurring growth and overcoming natural constraints. Kanya Kelamani ensuring zero dropout. Gunotsav, ensuring the quality of education. Chiranjeevi Yojana, increasing institutional delivery and reducing IMR and MMR. Krishi Mahotsav, laying the foundation of double-digit agricultural growth. Garib Kalyan Mela, transparent and direct delivery of benefits of almost 8,000 crore rupees to nearly 58 lakh BPL beneficiaries. Mamta Abhyan, eliminate malnutrition amongst women, adolescent girls and children. Once again, Gujarat aims at creating new models and benchmarks for the country with its unique initiatives. Apno Taluko Vibrant Taluko, a first of its kind initiative of decentralizing governance with impetus on grassroots planning and community participation right down to the Gram Panchayat, making people the effective drivers of the growth process. Setting up of Asia's largest solar park and in the process, producing almost two-third of India's solar energy. Operationalizing India's first canal top solar project with the capacity to produce 16 million units per annum. And initiating the rooftop solar project with a vision to establish Gandhinagar as India's first solar city. Yet again, as we enter the 12th five-year plan, we envision a state where there is no hunger, no malnutrition, no unemployment, no illiteracy and no discrimination, where opportunities abound and the youth and women look towards the future with confidence as we have the strength and courage to take sound decisions and lay the architecture of a state taller. A nation tougher. A future brighter. For Gujarat strongly believes in its conviction. Sabka Saath Sabka Vikas, support from all, development for all. 
reaffirming the Indian growth story. Gujarat, the growth engine of India.